Hey folks, in this short episode, I show you a trick to get your stalled lawn tractor to start. Based on a phrase your elementary teacher may have said, did you read the instructions? Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. Hey folks, this is a little bit different video than what we're used to. If you watch our channel, you know usually we talk about travel and different national parks and cool things to do with your kids. But on this video, I want to share with you some information about a lawn tractor that I have. And I'm only doing this because I tried to search on YouTube for how to solve this problem and I couldn't really get any great answers. And what I found how to fix this problem was super surprising. All right, so this is the tractor we have here. This is the Simplicity Broadmoor 2600. It's a good tractor, it works well most of the time. But the other day, I was uh, mowing the grass and I went over basically a groundhog hole and it was a really big bump on the, um, on the tractor. And you know, these tractors have a seat switch on them to keep you from uh, getting run over from the mower. If you fall off the tractor, it'll turn off. So bounced off the seat, mower turned off, couldn't get it started. This has been uh, almost two weeks now. So, and we had to go to a wedding that afternoon, so I hurriedly pushed the tractor into the shed and thought, well, I'll deal with this later. And so I got out the manual and went to troubleshooting. Problem, engine will not turn over or start. And I started going through this list of things and what I found was amazing. So here are the things that I went through to see if I could get the tractor to start. So here's what I was getting. The PTO clutch, the mower, would work. If I turned the, uh, the motor on, you can hear it start to work. You might be noticing that. I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the video, but the lights are flashing on there, so the lights would work. It's just, uh, I figured it must be one of the switches, the kill switches, safety switches. And just would not start at all. Couldn't get it to go. All right, so I thought, must be the seat switch. Let's try to take a look at that. All right, here's the seat switch. And I would say that when I first ran over that groundhog hole, this thing was out of its holder there in the seat. So I thought, maybe I broke that. So that was my first step. I went to a local dealer, and he tested it, said... Seat switch is fine, no problem there, okay? Thought I might need to buy a new one. Turns out I didn't. So, what next? Well, this back part of the tractor here where the seat goes, you can see there's a kind of a seam there. So I removed this handle and took the gas cap off. And I took this off to look and see if this seat switch in here was damaged or broken. And I'm not going to show it to you again because the brake pedal switch is very similar, but there is another switch in here, under here, next to this hydrostatic drive, the cruise control, and that's going to come in very, very handy here in a moment. All right, right there when I'm shining the light on, that gray switch, that's the brake switch. When you push the pedal, the brake pedal in uh, to get the motor to start, that switch has to get pushed in. I'll try to show you here in a minute. And that one looks like it's brand new. That's because it is brand new. I thought, well, maybe the brake switch isn't working. You can see here there's sort of a little metal bracket that pushes against that when you push the brake pedal down. I'll show you. Kind of hard to do it not having the right leverage. Okay, so went to the dealer and got one of those switches. It was 13 bucks. I thought, okay, that's not too bad. Wasn't too hard to get that off and replace it. I think it took me about 90 seconds. Sure enough, that was going to be the thing that worked. No, that wasn't it at all. Now, in the book, under the why it won't start troubleshooting, it says check the fuse. That's this thing right here. It's the solenoid. I don't know much about tractor electronics, but I figured that out. So I thought, well, maybe that's the part that's gone bad. So I took that off. It's just a little, little bolt back there. Not a big deal. Took that to the shop, tested that, no problem. That one's working too. You can see the battery is charged. I already showed you that the uh, lights are working and the 
power takeoff works has started to get pretty confusing to me and a little bit frustrating. Now the shop that I went to locally to us, they weren't gonna be able to look at this for three weeks and I gotta mow the grass. <clears throat> now fortunately I have a good big brother and he drove over here to look and see if he could figure it out. One of the first things he did was try to move this. You can see that it moves. So the motor isn't seized up. That was pretty good thinking on his part, but that wasn't the answer either. Here's where the spark plug goes. So I figured, well, maybe it's the spark plug. So I went over to Tractor Supply, got a new spark plug. That wasn't the problem either. This little drama has been going on for about two weeks and I was starting to get pretty frustrated. So I went back and looked at the book just to see what the guide might say. Troubleshooting the tractor. Engine will not turn over or start. Brake pedal not depressed. Well, we fixed that, got a new brake switch. PTO switch is in on position, turn it in off position. Did that already. Cruise control engaged. Hmm. And that's when I looked over at this thing and saw that it was not pushed back the whole way. There's a kill switch on the cruise control for this tractor. It looks just like the one on the brake pedal. And I saw it earlier and I thought, oh, that must be to help control the speed. But it's been sort of nagging me in my head thinking, why would there be that kind of switch back there? And it wasn't until about a half an hour ago that I turned my head and saw that that dumb lever wasn't the whole way back. So a couple rules here. <laughs> Maybe look at the manual the whole way through before you get angry. And uh, maybe it's not as bad as you think. So if you have a Simplicity tractor, or really, I guess, probably any kind of tractor with a hydrostatic drive or a cruise control on it, and you can't get it to start, might just be that. Here we go. Should work. Lessons learned, number one read all the directions. Number two, listen to your spouse who told you to read all the directions. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we take a ride down the Wheeling Heritage Trail and visit Wetzel's Cave. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, and comment below.